Hello friends welcome to my youtube channel my name is manish and i will upload all bee pharmacy related videos here so without wasting time let's start with the first video on my youtube channel our topic is from pharmaceutics 1 unit 1 histological background and development of profession of pharmacy in this topic we see introduction history of pharmacy in india pharmacy as a career and introduction to pharmacopeia first we see introduction the profession in any field has a long and well systematic chronological development the modern pharmacy profession has a long history when doctors and pharmacists practiced together but in a very preliminary form in ancient india the sources of drugs were vegetables animals and mineral origins the history of pharmacy in india India has a long history of pharmacy when the sources of drugs were vegetables animals minerals origin before 19th century there are no scientific methods of standardization of drugs the trend continued with the arabic and yunani tabi system in the era of muslim rule in india allopathic system in india came with the britishers who became the rulers of india the allopathic system became very popular by the close of 19th century initially all drugs were imported from europe but later on some of drugs were manufactured in the country in 1901 bengal chemical and pharmaceutical works kolkata was established by acharya pc ray for the manufacturing of drugs in 1903 a small factory at parel and at 1907 alembic chemical works at badodara was established by professor t k gujjar the way of business was adopted initially by exporting crude drugs and importing the finished form due to lack of technology and know how during world war 1 import of drug was restricted and then again resumed after the world war during that time there were no restrictions on the quality of imported drugs and hence manufacturer abroad took undue advantages of this situation so that following sequences were prevailed the first is dumping of inferior quality medicines and adulterated drugs and the second is all unless and deleterious drugs were sold by unqualified people who resulted in poisoning due to quinine putting of croton oil into eye instead of atropine solution adulteration of santonin drug dispensing of potent drugs like compounds of antimony and arsenic and production of digitalis was done without any standard as a result few laws were inducted but were insufficient the first law is inducted in 1878 which is the opm act which deals with cultivation of poppy and the manufacture transport export import and sale of opium in 1889 indian merchandise act was inducted which deals with the misbranding of goods in general in 1894 indian tariff act was inducted which deals with levy of customs duty on goods including food drinks drugs chemicals and medicines imported into india or exported there from in 1894 sea custom act was inducted which deals with the goods with false trade description were prevented from importing under this act in 1894 poison act was inducted which is regulated the import possession and sale of poisons our next topic is pharmacy as a career pharmacist mainly has a lot opportunities in the following areas which are pharmaceutical industry pharmaceutical practice area academics regulatory and clinical research the first is pharmacist in the pharmaceutical industry in india pharmaceutical industry is one of the most developed advanced and largest industry the industry sector provides millions of job opportunities and assist in the healthcare drive of the country by providing drugs in the affordable process to indians today india is capable to produce from simple molecule to the complex molecules with well developed indonesian drug 
about 70% of country's need of bulk drug intermediate and pharmaceutical formulation chemicals and vaccines are produced in the country itself today approximately 300 large research and development based pharmaceutical companies including multinational governmental owned and private companies are available besides other 5500 small licensed companies pharmacists have promising career in different sectors of the pharmaceutical industries like research and development production packaging quality control quality assurance sales and marketing and regulatory areas pharmacies in practice area pharmacist is the link between doctor nurse and patients and hence considered as a vital component of the healthcare system in order to provide patient welfare pharmacy in academics pharmacist also have very bright career in the academics they can start their career in educational institutes as assistant professor associate professor and professor they are involved in the research work individually or as a collaborative work with industries nowadays as a number of education institutes are increasing there is a good demand of pharmacist in the education institutes pharmacy in regulatory area drug industry is growing with a high pace which requires to controlling and regulating the quality of the products as per the regulatory of requirements of india as well as foreign countries this created openings for the pharmacist in the regulatory department of the company apart from this government posts like drug inspector assistant drug commissioner and drug commissioner at state level and drug commissioner at national level are open for regulating production quality marketing import and export of the drugs pharmacy in clinical research clinical research is a very promising area for the ample of job opportunities for the pharmacist number of multinational companies have already established themselves and have the potential to become the strong global power contract research organization cro's in india exist either as a department of a large pharmaceutical company or as independent research organization most of the research being done across the world today sponsored by the pharmaceutical industries but regulated by strict regulations and guidelines cro's offer various opportunities for pharmacist in clinical research which undertake the following services clinical studies from phase 1 to phase 4 feasibility of the site for study development of protocol case report from review and designing report writing monitoring bioanalytical services quality assurance and data management conduction of bioavailability studies data management of global clinical trials then introduction to pharmacopeia the pharmacopeia comes from the greek word pharmakon meaning drug and poen meaning make therefore it can be defined as any recipe or formula and a standard required to making a or preparing a drug literally it is a list of medicinal substances crude drugs and formulae for making preparation for them it prescribes standards for identity purity and strength of drugs essentially required from healthcare perspective of human beings and animals most of the principal countries of the world have their own standards in the form of the national pharmacopeia of that country the pharmacopeias of various countries that are referred extensively are the indian pharmacopeia the british pharmacopeia the united states pharmacopeia the extra pharmacopeia the international pharmacopeia and sixth is the european pharmacopeia the book will discuss the introductory part of first four pharmacopeias the main focus shall be given to the latest seventh edition of indian pharmacopeia 2014 let's see about the indian pharmacopeia 2014 seventh edition the history of the ip began in the year 1833 when a committee of the east indian company dispensary recommended the publication of a pharmacopeia bengal pharmacopeia and general conspectus of medicinal plants was established or published in 1844 which mainly listed most of the commonly used indigenous drugs or remedies this was followed by ip 1868 which covered both the drugs of british pharmacopeia and indigenous drugs used in india 
with a supplement published in 1869 incorporating the vernacular names of indigenous drugs and plants however from 1885 the bp was made official in india a drug inquiry committee adopted in 1927 by the government recommended the publication of a national pharmacopeia after independence the indian pharmacopeia committee was constituted in 1948 for publication of ip as its main function the indian pharmacopeia editions are as follows indian pharmacopeia 1955 first edition followed by supplement in 1960 Indian Pharmacopoeia 1966 which is the second edition followed by supplement in 1975 Indian Pharmacopoeia 1985 which is the third edition followed by its amendment in 1989 and 1991 Indian Pharmacopoeia 1996 which is the fourth edition followed by its amendment 2000 Indian Pharmacopoeia 2007 which is the fifth edition followed by amendment 2008 Indian Pharmacopoeia 2010 which is the 6th edition followed by its amendment 2012 DVD of Indian Pharmacopoeia 2010 and Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014 with DVD which is the 7th edition the latest version of Indian Pharmacopoeia is 8th edition of Indian Pharmacopoeia which has released by the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission IPC Thank you so much for watching my video. To be the first to get the updates of videos on my channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and also press the bell icon. If you like my video, just hit the like button. Thank you.